Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to the Anime Talk, the show where you just sometimes need a little motivation in your life to get that spark going and to just kind of drive you forward. Today on the Anime Talk, clearly we're going to be talking about motivational anime. And, you know, in general, one thing I want to speak about is anime is amazing, as we all know that, you know, watch anime, of course. But anime can make you experience a plethora of different emotions. You know, you can feel happy sometimes watching anime. You can feel sad. You'll feel joyous. You'll feel thought provoked where you start wanting to delve into something in your mind and just kind of meditate on it there's so many different things that could happen while watching anime one of them for me as a writer is getting motivated there's a lot of times where either i just can't think of something to write or i'm kind of in the writer's block world and then all of a sudden i'll watch a good anime out there and i'll instantly get an idea and i'll be like oh i just got an idea for a story and i'll run to my keyboard and start typing or i'll take out a pen and paper start writing down some jotting some you know jotting down some notes and stuff like that there are a lot of different things that could happen. Motivational anime is something that I think people do not fully respect enough. You know, there are a lot of times where anime in general can do something that maybe makes you want to do something else with your life and maybe make you go outside and maybe make you do something. I know people say, well, no, I'm just going to stay at home and watch anime all day. Yeah, but there's a lot of times that I've seen plenty of anime that make me want to go for a run or, you know, kind of make me just go and work out that day because maybe I was in the mood not to do any of that to that one particular day. But then I watch, like, maybe a good show that talks about, like, you know, someone working out and doing something and all of a sudden I'm like, you know what, let me go work out too. You know, I don't want to sit down all day. But in general, one of the things I think one of the most, or at least one of the best motivational anime genres out there is Shonen. Shonen, you know, regardless if you love or hate it, you gotta admit, there are a lot of motivational anime in Shonen world. In general, Shonen Jump is like famous for some of the greatest Shonen manga out there. You know, if you think about like Dragon Ball Z, or if you think about One Piece, or, or Hunter x Hunter, whatever you want to think about in this case... Those are all shows that are talk that talk about like someone standing up against and fighting against insurmountable odds. They can't win, it seems like, but they'll stand up anyways. They won't give up and either somehow succeed or at least come close. But no matter what, if they lose, they get back up later on, fight again, train, get better, and just end up going against whatever force they have to go against to eventually win. Even if they don't win fully, they at least come away somewhat victorious in their own sense. You know... Motivational anime is one of those things that I think people take for granted. There are so many anime out there that are trying to give you this message to get up and to do something with your day. And I know a lot of times you don't want to. You want to just kind of sit back, relax. But I'm not, and I'm not here to be your parents, folks. I'm not going to be telling you, oh, go do this and do No, I'm not here to do that. But I'm saying that, you know, if you ever feel to be motivated to do something, like a general, you watch an anime that really kind of gets you pumped up or, or makes you feel good about something or maybe she makes you want to seek I don't know love out there or whatever maybe you should listen to it you know honestly this is not gonna be a long anime talk by the way folks it's probably been one of the shortest ones but it's just you know I have a long day ahead of me so I had to kind of do a quick anime talk and I was wanted to talk about this in general so in many ways this is kind of a semi anime talk a semi blog in many ways but or vlog as they call it because it's not you know it's not written I, I've never, you know, like, to me, I've always thought they were the same thing, but I realize, you know, vlog is video, vlog, and blog is personal jotting down. But anyways, getting on track, the whole point of motivational anime is to kind of get you to move. And the thing is, is that I understand that's tough. There's a lot of times I don't want to do anything. I want to stay, sit back and relax. You know, there's times where I don't feel like I should be having to do anything, that I could just do nothing that whole day. But... Maybe next time you're watching a motivational series that makes you feel like a going for a jog or maybe in general, maybe doing something out of your comfort zone that you know is safe, but you just I, you haven't wanted to do it or you more so are afraid of the results. Think about what characters in those motivational anime have to go through. I know it sounds far fetched to like, wait, it's, it's, but that's an anime. It's cartoons. It's, you know, people doing stuff that's crazy. Yeah, I get that. But the thing is, is that the concepts are not crazy. You know, the concept of Goku, for example, versus Cell, you know. You realize that he has no chance in hell, but the thing is, is that he does not give up. He trains, he still loses, but it's it, the thing is, is that he doesn't let himself be stopped by the fact that you know this big force again against me is twenty thousand more times powerful than me. No, he goes against it, and I know that sounds stupid. It's like, well, that's that's a, a fictional character versus another fiction. No, I, I'm I, I'm not talking about that per se i'm talking about the concept behind it it's the concept of going against your comfort and still striving for something that seems so far-fetched and so out there 
but you still want to go for it. You still have to try. You know, motivational anime does that to me. I think that's something that it should be doing for everyone. So next time, folks, you know, you're sitting down, you're maybe watching something that really motivates you to go outside or do something, maybe write something or make a song, whatever it makes you motivated to do, listen to it. Take in that motivational spark and let it literally spark you. Let it make you want to do something for that day because you'll find that sometimes the weirdest inspiration comes from the oddest places and the places that we don't pay attention to. There are plenty of other things out there that are motivational. Music's motivational. Reading's motivational. You know, your parents are very motivational unless your parents are telling you nothing else. But I'm just saying that in sense of motivation, it can come from anywhere. You know, listen to it. Just kind of take it in. Realize, hey, you know what? Maybe there's a message behind this kind of meaning. And if you're one of those people that are very analytical, because trust me, I know a lot of people on YouTube that are very analytical and love to kind of break down everything. Why don't you break down something like that, for example? You realize that the message is there, hidden behind a whole bunch of different things, but it's so in plain sight that you can listen to it and actually take some concept from it and go out and do something about that day. You know, go out for that run. Go out to try to maybe meet someone new. Go out, go to school and, and learn something else that day or pick up a book and read it. I know it sounds corny. I know it sounds like, oh, that's, that's just educational stuff or maybe I sound like a parent. But the thing is that I'm not trying to do that. With these anime talks in general, I'm always striving to get people to think a little bit more about something. You know, give you a tip and trick to figure out something in your life. And hopefully I'm doing that. I mean, I, I, I've got a lot of positive things, so I'm going to end this anime talk with that. You know, one thing why I keep doing these anime talks, even if I only hit like 30 or 40 people on viewing it or whatever, is that I, I see the comments of people that really take to heart what I'm saying. And, you know, there are times where I needed that in my life, where I needed that motivation. And luckily I had my parents and my friends to be there for me, because without them I would have never been motivated to do things in, in my life in general. But there's a lot of times I use my own self-motivation to do things, but sometimes I need that little push extra. You know, if you can't find it from anything outside your zone that maybe is your real life, so maybe you can't find it from parents, maybe you can't find it from friends, whatever, maybe find it from a place like anime. Why not, right? So next time you're watching an anime, think back and see that your character, your beloved character from One Piece, you know, maybe Luffy is getting into a fight, he's not going to win. But the thing is, is he, does he give up? No, he keeps getting up and he keeps fighting back and he learns to get stronger and kind of adapt his powers. There's real life concepts to that where, you know, if you want to get stronger, if you want to become better, you got to get up and actually train and practice. And, you know, I know, like, I'm not a good writer. I don't think I'm a good writer. People have told me I'm a, I'm a very good writer. I don't think I am. Because the thing is, is I don't let myself ever fall into a comfort zone with writing. You know, I always try to strive to do better and better and better. It's like anything else in life. Even at school, I want to get better and better at school. In general, I just want to get better in life. So for me to do that, I have to keep practicing. And I know sometimes it's a pain in the ass, but motivation for me comes from a million and one different sources. And I'll tell you one place, definitely, it comes from anime. So definitely think about that next time you're watching one of your favorite shows. And, you know, maybe you just kind of have a spark out there that tells you, hey, you know, why don't you do this or that? Listen to it and take heed. And you know what? Go out and do it, man. That's the bottom line is that you can't go wrong by trying something new you know even if you fail okay then guess what either try again or you know what, at least try so much that you feel like you've at least put effort into it that if you keep failing and you finally go you know what i'm done with this move on and move on to something else then because there's plenty of hobbies out there there's plenty of things you can do you're only limited to you by yourself you are your own limits i know people always say that but it's very true you are the limitation to yourself you create your own boundaries in life in general I know there are things out there in your life, maybe you don't have a lot of money, maybe you're in a kind of piss poor area or environment, maybe that there are things that seem like insurmountable odds against you in general, but the thing is, is that if you let those kind of create you into this boundary, into this wall, then you just have nowhere to push back to, and that's because you let everything get to you. Fight back. Do what you got to do that day. You know, go out, get yourself a job. Go out, maybe go get education. You know, go out, train a little bit, exercise, whatever. I know it sounds like, it sounds so corny and maybe sounds like kind of motivational speaking itself. But guess what? That's the whole point of this anime talk. It's motivational. So you, you should have expected that. But anyways, guys and girls, on that note, I will leave you with enough of that kind of, you know, I want to say preaching mentality that I'm doing right now. But I hope that someone resonates with this and realizes, hey, you know what? 
you're right. I should be doing this or whatever. If not, well, then I hope you got some enjoyment out of hearing me ramble for like 10 minutes. As always, guys and girls, you know what to do if you like the video. Hit the like button, hit that share button, subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. As always, have a blessed day. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.